So I've just come off an awesome conversation with many of my members on dannymord.com. They were basically saying, Danny, I want to be more consistent with my ball striking. I feel like I've lost a lot of distance. So I said to them, look, well, just send me your swings. Let me have a look at what you're doing. And every single one of them had pretty much the same type of fault. Different looking swings, but the same fault. What we did was I gave them a simple visual to kind of correct it. It was amazing. The second thing I gave them was something to help them enhance their speed, but I did this without lengthening their swing, and this was a surprise to them. Every one of them were trying to lengthen their swing to add distance. We managed to add 20, 30 yards without any increase in backswing whatsoever. So let me jump into this video right now and show you what we did. But before I do, if you're new to the channel, it's one your first lessons of mine, please consider subscribing. I release videos just like this one every single week to try and help you improve your game. Plus, you never have to remember a thing, I'll always put a free download or practice guide in the description box below. So if you're wanting to improve your ball strike and maybe hit the ball further without necessarily increasing the length of your swing, what you've got to do is basically one of two things. The first thing is you've got to have a very, very consistent circle in your golf swing. Now, the group that's just joined my membership site, they didn't have that. What they were doing is, is they were breaking the circle. So if you look at me here, I'm creating a very consistent circle. But what they were doing, some on the backswing, they were breaking that circle by either the trail elbow bending inside very quickly here, this trail elbow starting to bend, they've lost all the radius of that circle. That would make it incredibly difficult to get that club consistently back to the golf ball. Players who had a pretty good circle here on this side kind of then ruined it on the way through. They get kind of bendy here and flicky on the way through. So neither one, of, uh, one is ever going to help you get your ball striking. So we need to help you create that consistent circle. The second thing which um, is going to help is, is if you look at the club here, when it sits on the ground, you'll notice the handle is always slightly ahead of the club face. This is your true loft. Now, what all of the guys are doing, this is why they're losing distance and, and uh, spoiling their strike, is what would happen was they would add loft through the impact area. Okay? This does two things. It's going to lose your distance, but out you start to get this flicky, weak kind of impact position here, so you lose distance as well, okay? as well as strike. Okay? So, how do we get them getting a feel of this strike first before we then start to add distance? Well, I gave them a tip that I, I shared um, a couple of weeks ago actually on my channel, uh, but I'll give it to you here. I've, I've kind of adapted it a little bit more, just some from, from some uh, feedback from the members, which is simply this. So I've got the bag and I put the bag on the inside of my kind of my lead foot here. Now, what you've got to feel is this. You've got to give, an, you've got to have an idea of how to kind of come into the golf ball. Now, most of the guys who are getting this breaking circle here, what they were doing is they're throwing the head at the ball, so the tip of the golf club here, the golf club head, is hitting, the, in a sense, the bag way before the actual handle. I want you to get the sensations, what I give them, I want you to get the sensations, the full bat kind of hitting the bag at exactly the same time. All this does is it makes sure that when you're here, look, you're presenting, look, you start with, in a sense, this amount of loft and this amount of shaft lean. When you then come back into the bag and you're trying to hit the bag with the shaft and the club at the same time, you've got the same loft on the golf club it's going to hugely help your power and it's going to hugely help your consistency, okay? So I got them to kind of feel this once or twice, just smacking an object, it has to be a bag, it could be just a box, something to give themselves this kind of sensation of the shaft and the head meeting the club at exactly the same time. Now as they practice this, something really cool started to happen. Each one of them started to get a different feeling and do you know what the feeling they described? They said, Danny, this feels like a push. It does, doesn't it? It feels like I'm really pushing. That's a such a I'm pulling all the time and this really feels like I'm pushing through. Absolutely. So what we did next was huge. Let me show you. So once they kind of got that sensation of what they felt was a push, it was a game changer. Because watch, if you're dragging the club or you're kind of flicking the club, that's not a push. They're starting to push it with the pad of their trail hand here. They're pushing through. So now look, this push maintains the, the loft on the club look, pushing this way. If it's flicked, you lose a loft, you get a flicky strike. The second thing they're getting here, look, they're now controlling the radius of their swing look and their swing circle on the way through. Why? Because they're pushing down here and through. 
This is the first element, right? So I said to them, right, now before you rush about going to do big swings, take that sensation of that hitting the bat and the, or the shaft at the same time with the club head, take that sensation of push and hit me some shots that are just small. Just here, look, push it through. So watch this, get myself set, push. Push it through, really, really small little shots, just to kind of get that sensation first. No big shots. Now for many of them, this was incredibly simple and worked brilliantly. Now for a few, however, the particular people who were used to dragging the club in here and breaking the circle on the way back, they had to make sure that they also felt, look, a push in the backswing because again, they were used to pulling the club back, pulling it behind them. And I want you to kind of sense this. It's a push away. My, this trail arm is working in it, for me, working a clockwise direction. I'm pushing away this way. This is what gives me this rotation. I am not pulling inside this push. Now we started again with those guys, really small, just kind of push here. Push away, push here, because then look from here, now you push there. We're going to keep that push down, look, and we're going to push through the shot this way. That's all we do. So really small, getting a sense of push here, feel the pad pushing, and then now you know your destination, we're going to push through, look, through here, push that club through square. Just really, really, really small, slow swings and they absolutely loved it. Now, once they understood this, what do you think they wanted to do? Probably just like you, they said, Danny, how do I then take that small swing and add more power? Well, we didn't add any increase. I said that we're not gonna increase the length of your swing, we're gonna add more power with it. Make this current swing super, super efficient. So I'm gonna share with you what we did in a second. But look, before I get into that, look, these members are, are a wonderful community and I would love for you to get on board with them. We have a huge range of people from senior golfers to beginner golfers and advanced golfers. And what I love about it is, is you know, you've probably got questions on this video. Well, I can answer your questions directly, not just with a simple comment, but with videos and small little clips and that's kind of the way it works. So little bit, bit by bit, we're kind of working together as a basic collective community to try and enjoy the game, improve the game together. I absolutely love it and look, the feedback has been amazing. So I'd love for you to jump on board. I'll leave a link in the description box below. I might even put a link above here, but it's dannymore.com, go and sign up. It's be, I'd love to see you there, okay? But look, let's get back into the video. Look, this, I'm gonna share with you this. This is a private video that I sent all the members on distance. Go and check it out. It's only a short video, it's only like three or four minutes long, but it's how you then scale this to incredible power. Let's get inside. Here's a great exercise that I, I give many, many of my students. In fact, I give it to a recent student, Adam, who gained 50 yards in no time at all with this sensation, okay? All I want you to do is hold a golf club up like this, okay? So when you do this, just let the club just swing backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Now at this stage, it's working at a pretty constant pace. But if I find a rhythm with this, rhythm's quite common. Uh, I keep talking about rhythm don't I, in terms of distance. It's super important. I've got a rhythm. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a up motion. See, I'm moving the handle upwards, yeah? I'm going up. And what happens to the club? It travels that extra little bit faster. Can you see that? So I'm timing this and I want you just to do this yourself. Just hold the club up there and really get a sense of this. Because once you start to feel, okay, if I move the club upwards, I can generate effortlessly more speed. So what does that look like in your golf swing? Well, the thing is this, again, we're keeping the swing sh uh, short. We've talked about what we're doing is we're trying to add some ball speed. If we swing too position oriented and it all becomes too methodical like this, you're gonna apply a certain force to the ball. But if we start to imagine a little bit of impulse with this here, that adds immediately more power. And notice this, we haven't lost any form and structure. We haven't thrown the club at the ball and lost all control here. We've still got a beautiful strike. But all I want you to do is give yourself permission for your lower legs, your legs to work, okay? So what I mean by that is this. We've got a strike, we're pushing strike. This is the strike. Feel the pad of your trail hand pushing downwards to, on that ball here, right? Now from here, as you swing through, the trail side, look, as that right trail arm extends, the trail side is gonna 
push through impact. This is gonna give you much straighter arms. But as you are pushing those trail arms through, what's happening to my body? It's, can you see how it's extending almost upwards? I am not doing this, yeah? So give yourself permission, look at this. As I square that face onto that ball, pushing down here, my body, this section of my body, as I push down my right side here, my trail side, my left side comes upwards. This upwards motion, look, creates what I like to call whew, is the catapult. If I stayed too still here and didn't move, I can't create that, but as I fire my trail side down into the golf ball here, my lead side here really fires upwards. This gives me the spring-loaded power and catapult that, again, without increasing the length of your swing, will generate extra power for you, whilst, again, maintaining control. So have a look at this in action. Get myself set, smaller swing. I'm gonna fire that trail side look here, down into that golf ball here, bang and watch that trail lead side here just naturally pop up as a byproduct. Beautiful, absolute rocket, straight down the middle, fire through, let that lead side come up. You too will start to add more speed to this, okay? But before we finish here, remember, all of this with the right mindset about having, visualizing the ball coming off faster, with faster speed. Visualize some input as you fire this down. You don't have to think about this coming up. It will want to do that, okay? The thing is, if you do feel it coming up, realize it's not a bad thing, it's absolutely fine. Allow that dynamism in the, in the lower ground and you'll start adding some effortless power to all of your clubs, not just your irons. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Look, if you want to kind of interact with me directly, head on over to dannymore.com and join the community. What does it, how does it differ to YouTube? Very simply. I can basically create bespoke content to answer your questions. So it's super, super valuable. I'd love to see you there. But in the meantime, look, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, maybe share it with one of your friends. And look, if you, like I said, if you wanna continue hitting it a little bit further, check this video out right here, where we just start to extend the swing just a little bit more to add a few extra yards. Enjoy.